Today I'll walk you through some out-of-the-box functionality that you'd have with DocuSign CLM requiring no setup at all. In this scenario, I have a document that I want to send out for external review. What you see here is our repository. There are multiple ways to get documents into DocuSign CLM. In this scenario, I'll show you a simple drag and drop to upload. Now in order to send this out for signature or review, I simply click this drop down arrow and I can send this for review. Before I do this, I want to take a look at the document, so I just click to preview, just to be sure. I can send from this screen as well by clicking send for external review. This screen asks me who I want to send the document out to for review. If I want to notify anyone, set the email message, and give a due date. Now I just click send. Here we can see that anyone who wants to know what's going on with the contract can have the visibility self-service, rather than bugging people with emails and phone calls just to be in the loop. Switching roles, the external reviewer has automatically been sent a secure link to access the document. They don't need any account, just internet and browser. The external reviewer can easily download, make changes, Note that I'll add some information without track changes on. Upload and comment. Once they click finish, there are a lot of things happening automatically. I've been notified on completion via email, and that status has been updated in CLM for visibility to know it has been reviewed. We also have automatic version control taking place where that document was saved as version 2, and we can easily reference back to the initial version that was sent out. I can always compare previous versions to catch everything and make sure nothing slips through the cracks when track changes is turned off by accident, or if someone's trying to act maliciously. Internal parties can easily edit in native Word or Office 365 with one-click versioning. So I can open this up, click accept or reject, and save to automatically have the new version saved. From here, I can send it back out for review or look back through the history. In this scenario, we'll pretend like I've come to an agreement with everyone and want to send this out for signature. I simply click the Send for Signature button and I'm brought into our eSign product. Anyone familiar with DocuSign should recognize this screen. I simply type the name and email of who I want to sign the document and I can hit send. If there are a countersigner, I could specify the document route automatically to them after the first signer as well. I also have the option of specifying where I want people to sign and date. This way the signer knows exactly what you want them to do and will guide them through this process. This also ensures I don't have to review that they've signed and dated in the proper locations once it's been completed. Switching roles again, I'll play the part of the signer and I'm walked through what I need to sign. Here we have those required fields making sure if they hit finish, they know exactly what they need to do and where. Once I sign the document and click finish, I'm automatically emailed a completed copy. The document is automatically saved back as PDF signed version as well. No more staring comparing that the document is the version expected or that the proper party is signed in the correct location because you've already ensured that with fields. There are some important dates I need to remember about this document, like the expiration date. I can easily set a reminder on this document 60 days before that happens. This way I can stay in a good negotiation standpoint and no automatic renewals trigger. When I get the email, I can also reference back to the version that was sent out before signature. This way I can start from where we left off in Word version, rather than starting from scratch. If we look back at the repository, we also have OCR, which happens to all documents uploaded in. What this means is you no longer are limited to searching by the document name. You can now search by the data and information inside of the document as well. If you wanted to know which documents had a payment term of net 30, I can easily search and know the total amount. If I wanted to know how many were pending, I can search by a folder, I can search by only Word documents, or if I want to know how many were completed by PDF only. This allows me to quickly find what I'm looking for and not have to search through multiple different repositories as well. 